4.7 isolated systems. This is a very important concept for the rest of our study of physics and engineering. The first thing is um, a system for which there are no external interactions is said to be isolated. For such a system there is no input or output of momentum and so the momentum of the system does not change. So if you've got a single object or you've got two objects or more and they're interacting, if we make that our system and we can see that there's no, uh, there are no interactions or momentum transfer across the boundary, then we know that our delta P is zero. That means that if we've got A and B, that means that uh, the momentum of A at 1 plus the momentum of B at 1 is equal to the momentum of A at 2 plus the momentum of B at 2. Okay? There is no external interaction across the boundary. Momentum is conserved. Okay? So we've looked at that. So, so you, need to, you need to find out, are there external interactions? If there are no external interactions, we have an isolated system. Okay? Uh, kind of the corollary, if that's the right word, whenever the system interacts with something outside the system, the momentum of the system changes. Okay? Um, so anything, anytime there's an interaction across the boundary, it's called an external interaction. And any interactions inside the boundary are called internal interactions. Okay? Uh, only external interactions transfer momentum into and out of the system. So let's have a look at this example here. Here we've got two carts. They are interacting with each other. They're about to collide with each other. And so we can choose our system. So if we choose that system there, the interaction between the two carts is internal. It's internal. Okay, it's right, written right there. Internal interactions. There are no interactions across the boundary. That means the system is isolated. And that means that our change in momentum is zero. The momentum, momentum of cart 1 plus the momentum of cart 2 before collision equals the momentum of cart 1 plus the momentum of cart 2 after collision, after interaction. But say now we want to know what this uh, interaction is. What is this say force or this momentum transfer? Well, then we can just choose the cart, the cart as our system. Now we can see there is momentum transfer across the boundary, which means that we have an external interaction and that means that the delta P is not zero. The momentum changes. Momentum is not conserved. Momentum changes. Momentum changes. Okay? So in this, if we consider this as our system, the total momentum does not change. If we consider this as our system, just a single cart, then momentum does change. Again, also, if you just choose this cart as your system, then there's momentum transfer across the boundary, okay? Across the boundary, which means that the momentum of cart 2 does change. So guys, ju let's just look at this again quickly. Each of the individual objects, the momentum does change. But as a whole, as a whole, the total momentum of this system does not change, okay? All right, see you in the next one.